Hey there plant enthusiasts! Welcome back to Gardening Glory! Today, we've got a video that many of you have been asking for, troubleshooting and solving common issues with rubber plants, also known as Ficus elastica. Rubber plants are known for their beautiful, glossy leaves and air purifying qualities, but they can sometimes run into problems. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are some common rubber plant problems, their potential causes, and practical solutions. Problem 1. Yellowing leaves. One of the most common issues with rubber plants is yellowing leaves. If you notice this happening to your plant, it could be due to overwatering or insufficient light. Rubber plants prefer to dry out slightly between waterings. It is also important to note that these plants thrive in bright and direct light. If one of these conditions is not met, the leaves of your rubber plant will start turning yellow. To solve this issue, make sure you're not keeping the soil soggy. Adjust your watering schedule, allowing the top inch of soil to dry out between watering. Also, consider moving your rubber plant to a brighter spot with indirect sunlight. For instance, you can place the plant near a north or east facing window. Problem 2. Drooping or wilting leaves. If you notice your rubber plant's leaves drooping or wilting, underwatering, low humidity, and root rot are the most likely culprits. These plants are native to tropical Asia, meaning that they prefer a wet, humid climate. If you fail to mimic these conditions, your rubber plant will run into problems. You need to provide enough water and consider adding a humidity tray or misting to boost humidity if your indoor environment is too dry. However, it is important to note that overwatering can lead to root rot, which can also cause wilting. To check for root rot, gently remove the plant from its pot and inspect the roots. Healthy roots should be firm and white, not mushy and brown. To fix drooping or wilting leaves, adjust your watering habits, ensuring the soil stays consistently moist but not waterlogged. If you suspect root rot, trim affected roots, repot your plant in fresh soil, and adjust your watering routine. Problem 3. Brown spots on leaves. Brown spots on rubber plant leaves can be unsightly, but they're often a sign of low water quality or pests. Poor water quality, especially if it's high in salts or chlorine, can lead to brown spots. Pests like spider mites or mealybugs are also known to cause brown spots on rubber plant's leaves. Use filtered or distilled water if your tap water is a concern. Also, you need to check the undersides of leaves for pests. To solve the issue of brown spots, you need to improve your water quality, and consider using a neem oil solution to treat any pest infestations. And there you have it, our comprehensive guide for troubleshooting and solving common rubber plant issues. Remember, patience is key when nursing your rubber plant back to health. It may take some time for your plant to recover, but with the right care, it will thrive once again. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more plant care tips. Thanks for watching, and happy gardening!